look at him. Oh, that's a salt right there, man. That's a salt. What is that? Trey Fresh killing the beat. Cool. So, man, there's been a lot of six nine and y- Yailin. I think that's how you say her name. Um, there's been a lot of drama between them. Unfortunately, a lot of their back and forth has been in Spanish, and um, it's you know I don't know Spanish, but um, I will just kind of sum it up, man. So, just to kind of give a backstory, man, Yailin and six nine have been kind of going. They've kind of had this kind of toxic relationship going on. Um, Yailene is obviously, you know, a big, big, uh, she's a big deal, um, out there and I believe is in Columbia. Um, but there's also a producer out there or a media personality who six, nine got jealous of, and she went to do some type of music or something with them. It caused them to fight. And I'm paraphrasing this man and correct anything that I'm saying in the, in the chat. However, man, there's been a lot of back and forth on them posting on their social media saying, oh, no, he's the violent one. Um, um, She's saying he's the violent one. He's saying she's the violent one. But most of the, you know, because obviously, you know, it's, this has been public. Most of the clips that have been posted have been showing that really she's the toxic one. So I'm just going to play a couple of, you know, uh, uh, interactions between them of, you know, uh, one of the, uh, you know, one of them being violent and y'all gonna see y'all, 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 y'all speak for themselves. Y'all could, y'all could, I'm gonna let everything speak for itself. So let me just play this first clip. This is her, um, you know, attacking six, nine, and also, you know, uh, damaging his, his Bentley. Oh shit. Hard. Sorry. Y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my audio right. Damn I apologize. Bentley. Oh, no. Yes, bro. Not yes, Italy. Yes, bro. <laughs> Hold up, oh, bam. You got okay. a million one Hold cars up. anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nah, sure. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, just before you play this, um, this is the girlfriend that that he was like that he's been with, like after like that got the six big six nine tattooed on her fa- on her body or whatever. I think so. I think so. Damn, we the got eight he viewers. Hey, shout out to the eight. Baby mom. Yeah, make sure y'all like the video. Yeah, y'all. Sh- shouts out to y'all, man. Appreciate that, man. But but what was you saying again? My fault, fam. No, I was saying that's the one that he was messing with right after his baby mom's, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, So look, let me go ahead and put this on. Let me refresh. Hey, can you see that, by the way? Oh, shit. It's not even on the screen. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and refresh it, yeah. and then we're going to watch this, man. And, and like I said, most of the videos that's been posted, it seems like, you know, she's the problem. Not really six nine, but you know who knows what's going on. But I'm just saying the stuff that's went public. Look at him. Oh, that's a salt right there, man. That's a salt. What is that big ass? Piece? <laughs> Let's just play that one more time. I don't know what it is. Look like a piece of oh, wood painted wood. <laughs> look, so like look, man. Broke his hand there. Shit. <laughs> right, right. So that happened, and then here's another video. Right here. All right, so just to explain this particular clip right here, this clip is her telling, because I guess she caught him looking at some girl ass, and she's saying, Abla, like, tell me, like, tell me why you was looking at her ass. So obviously, um, they're very toxic, but most of the clips that's been posted between the two of them have been mostly her beating up him, mostly mostly her attacking him. So, I mean, again, we talk about six nine here. I'm pretty sure the nigga's not innocent, and I'm not saying that by any means. But typically, with these, you know, beautiful, powerful women, you know, they're very uh uh, uh what's the word I'm looking for territorial, and you know, and a lot of a lot of times, man, that that sh- that shit comes with a lot of trauma, and these women are traumatized, and they become violent. They they almost become masculine masculinized and they end up putting their hands on the men so what's your thoughts on that man yeah i mean this is just kind of typical behavior you know with these uh with these celebrities and these rappers man like it's i don't know what what it is about domestic violence um and these celebrities and these rappers but for some reason um and in this case it may have been and we we don't know the whole backstory i don't know if he's putting his hands on her or not which i you know i would hope he's not but um He's obviously the 
uh, the antagonist in this situation as far right. as uh, the domestic violence goes. So this is a flip of the script when it comes to that. But um, I think it's I think it was wise of him to record it <laughs> as much as he did. Uh, it looks like I don't know. Smart. I don't know too Damn much right. Spanish, but it sounded, you know, it seemed as though he was talking about calling the police or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. So yep, he was sure trying did. to protect himself. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, just I just think people should just choose wisely who you Facts. I don't know if he has any. Does he have any kids with her? Nah, he don't. No, thank God. Okay. Thank well, God. yeah. I mean, as yeah, thank, luckily he doesn't have any kids with her. So I would advise that he just gets out of that situation as fast get out as of he it can. Uh, before it's no getting worse. That I mean, you are uh, known as one of the biggest rats in history, but that doesn't you know affect your. I, I'm a, <laughs> you know I'm sure that doesn't affect your you know uh, your you know how you in, in, interact with women and uh, as far as you know picking up women and hooking up or whatever you're famous rapper millionaire um mm -hmm. so i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. it's not difficult for you to find another woman so i no. would get out of this situation as soon as i as soon as i could if i were him as, uh, especially since you don't have any kids and um yeah man just yeah just be be careful man you know do do what he did if you guys are ever in that situation <laughs> pull your phone out man pull your phone out uh and you know protect yourself man record record the situation protect yourself because he it could have been a you know if he hadn't recorded himself you never know they probably would have yep yep he, you know anything could have happened police could have got called and then he would have been arrested and we would have been talking about uh six nine being arrested on domestic violence and we wouldn't have even known whether or not he truly mm -hmm. hit her or not so um yeah, yeah. i think if, if, i think her going that crazy over him you said he, he he was looking at he look he like, allegedly yeah. allegedly he looked at a girl ass or something and like, that's what that's what called I'm the, like, I'm for one i'm yeah. a fucking rapper what what the hell does that what do you matter? expect like, what, i mean like, come on now are you serious yeah, i go to shows yeah. i got women showing their breasts to me at at, at shows right. everywhere i go right right i got women wanting me to sign right. up their titties and ass and all types of shit like come on now and I'm pretty exactly. sure I'm I mean, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he's not it's not like he's a one woman kind of guy. So come on, bro. her getting come into on, this bro. relationship, I'm quite sure she knew or at yeah. least thought about it, like, okay, he may not be faithful to just me. And a lot of women nowadays, they kind of recognize that when they're messing with these high, high end mm -hmm. rappers, high end celebrities, like they kind of know like you're not you're starting to see a shift of more females accepting that reality. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the women that are in those positions, you know what I mean, that are messing with these mm -hmm. uh, high-end celebrities and things like that, um, they kind of are a little bit more accepting. Um, mm -hmm. And if they aren't accepting, I don't think they would go out of their way to go this far just for him looking at it, another woman's yeah. ass. Like, I would think that she would trip like that more so because he actually cheated. But exactly. maybe that could be part of the backstory. Maybe that's just what she was talking about in that particular incident. But I'm assuming there's more to that story. Maybe he was cheating or something or whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, she she did accuse him of cheating also. By the way, shout out to Righteous Monkey, man. Thanks for tapping in, as always. Righteous we on episode Monkey. number FIFA or or in my Espanol Cinco, episode Cinco. Yes, but yeah, man, um, you're you're so right, bro. I just I I just want to second what you said, bro. It's like there's a there's something about not even just rappers, if you're a high earner, high status um popular dude you got money you're rich there's obviously a level of like first of all look i think generally speaking um men have this um insatiable uh, uh, uh want for many women right and men in those in those situations have the i guess the appeal to many women where they can attract different type of women and again like you said to your point you get these women who are like uh there's different traits that that attract men and there's different traits that attract women obviously he he's gonna a lot of women want him and if you want if you expecting the nigga to be faithful good luck bro anytime you're dealing with somebody that is like i said a man of that stature you know good luck trying to get them to be only faithful to you because they got females just throwing it at them left and right um now is there niggas faithful like that um that are high status high earner you know very popular sure but it's few and far in between so if you get with a nigga like that even if you are famous too because to, to even though you got status and you got fame to him you just let's i mean we just to be respectful you just another female 
you know, your fame and status don't mean sh- as much to him as it does to you. So even if so, you you expect a nigga to be faithful just because you got all the clout and shit like that, too. Like, nah, the niggas still look at you as a regular beasy and he's still going to have females throwing at him. However, um, I do want to I do want to point out, man, for the fellas out there, man, anytime y'all have a toxic woman on your hands, man, please, please, please do like six, nine, record the interaction. And, you know, by by all means, make sure y'all don't put your hands on these women, you know, have some restraint. And if you have to defend yourself, do what you got to do. But that has to be an absolute last resort and make sure you film the encounter. And like I said, by all means, if you can avoid it, exit the situation before you try to um, put your hands on a woman, man, because nine times out of 10 men come out on the wrong end of these toxic domestic situations. For sure. But yeah, um, moving on from that, man, shout out six, nine for, you know, for uh, recording and. Like I said, from the videos I've seen, 6 9 seem to be the one on the receiving end of this. Yeah. And, you know, if there's other information out there, feel free to let me know. Um Shout out to him for, for showing restraint. 100%. Uh, moving on from that, we got... Man.